Airplanes are invaluable to lots of operations in the modern world, and firefighting is one area that keeps them very busy in the hot summer months in some parts of the world. There are different types of firefighting planes for different purposes and budgets. Let's take a look at seven different types of firefighting airplanes. Although many people think of large water tankers when they imagine firefighting airplanes, there are in fact a variety of different aircraft that can be used for this purpose. Some planes carry huge amounts of water and can extinguish fires quickly, while others use specialized equipment to put out fires in difficult-to-reach places. In addition to fighting wildfires, these planes can also be used for rescuing people and putting out smaller fires. Combating wildfire without a firefighting plane is like building a castle in the air. Firefighting planes use a variety of chemicals to extinguish the wildfire. These chemicals include water, foams, and gels. These planes also utilize a chemical mixture of water, salt, thickening agent, and coloring, known as a retardant. Some firefighting planes have the capability of reloading over water bodies, leaving out the need to land for a refill. Planes are always customized to meet specific needs. Hence, a single operation may require two or more types of these aircraft. Firefighting planes are usually classified by the capacity of retardant they carry and their application. Here's 12 most amazing firefighting airplanes in the world. One, CL215 Scooper. The Scooper was the first in a line of firefighting aircraft made by Canadair, acquired by Bombardier. And it can get rid of more than 1,000 gallons of water in a hurry. Two, PZL M18 Dromator. The Dromator is a Polish aircraft that was built in the 1970s with the help of U.S. manufacturer Rockwell International. The Polish wanted FAA certification to help sell their planes worldwide, and Rockwell wanted Poland's high-powered radial engines on its own agricultural airplanes. 3. IL-76 Need to lift a lot of water? The IL-76 can do it. It was originally designed to deliver heavy machinery to remote locations, but approximately 25 were modified for firefighting capability. 4. Grumman S-2 Tracker The S-2 was the United States' first purpose-built anti-submarine aircraft. While they're no longer used by the U.S. to hunt subs, several of them are operational water bombers. 5. S-64 Sky Crane when it's not helping build skyscrapers, the sky crane is hauling 2,650 gallons of water to fight fires. 6. C-130 The U.S. Forest Service started using C-130s in the 1970s for firefighting. Their fleet was grounded in 2004, but they spent years suppressing fires and containing oil slicks. The National Guard uses them with the Modular Airborne Firefighting System, MAFFS. 7. A. T802F Fire Boss The Fire Boss can be configured with floats to reload closer to fires. 8. S70 Firehawk The Oregon National Guard was the first U.S. military organization to use this heavy lifting hello for firefighting. 9. B200 Another heavy lifter from Russia, the B-200 can carry 3,170 gallons of water and reload at sea. 10. Bay-146 You may have flown on the Bay-146 when it was used by airlines, but many of them now have been converted for firefighting. 11. CL-415 the Super Scooper is one of the few aircraft built specifically for water bombing, and it's the big brother of the CL215. It can land and reload on water, and it just looks cool doing its job. 12. Chinook CH47 The pair of Chinook CH47's helitankers, which can carry up to 3,000 gallons of fire retardant or water. 